Globally, we produce 3.5 million tons of rubbish. It's an enormous amount of material. It would fill a line of garbage trucks stretching all the way from Miami, Florida to Seattle, Washington every day. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, more than 200 million tons of waste are produced every year. Each American makes 4.4 pounds of that trash every day. That's why we need to recycle. That's why we need to compost. We, we, we can't just bury the planet in garbage. We've got to stop making so much. The city of San Francisco is doing its part by preventing 80% of waste from going to landfills through a zero waste initiative. The term zero waste is an aspirational term. It means sending nothing to landfills or incinerators. It means taking steps not to make so much garbage to begin with, and then recycling and composting as much as you can so you've got next to nothing left. In San Francisco, 99% of our businesses and our apartment buildings, our hospitals, our government offices have the three-bin system. So it is easy to do the right thing. Messages about composting and recycling are everywhere in our city. We have some of the most ambitious laws and policies in the country. Residents and businesses are required to recycle and compost by a law put in place in 2009. Things don't belong in that black bin. And in fact, it's cheaper if you don't use your black bin. We give economic incentives to our businesses and our residents to avoid the black bin at all costs. And while plastics continue to be a problem globally, many San Franciscans want to be a part of the solution. They're declining plastic bags. The city banned plastic bags, banned plastic straws. People are shopping at farmer's markets where they can buy loose fruits and vegetables. There is no packaging. At many of the grocery stores, you can bring your own mason jars and not generate any packaging. It's part of an environmental movement. The city works with Recology, a private company that gathers and processes waste materials. They bring recyclables here, Recycle Central on Pier 96. We process 650 tons of recycling here every day. Bottles, cans, paper, cardboard, all mixed together. And we separate it into 14 different materials every day. We use modern recycling equipment and then hand sorting by recycling workers to do that. Along with environmental benefits, the recycling program is also creating jobs. We employ 175 recycling workers in this plant. Recycling creates 10 times more jobs than landfilling or incineration. Just as important is composting. It's collecting yard trimmings like sticks and leaves and also food scraps like the cuttings from the ends of carrots and the things you use to prepare a salad, those trimmings. And so composting, it breaks them down into a natural soil amendment that can go back into the garden or onto a farm. Right now, San Francisco composts or recycles about two and a half million tons a year. The city knows challenges are inevitable in its efforts to become waste-free. And honestly, one of the hardest ones for us right now is this culture of convenience. This idea that things should be quick and easy, that somebody else will take care of it for us. But what we really need is that the business community be a partner with us and stop giving us products that have no solution for the end of life. In spite of the hurdles, many domestic and international city leaders have taken notice of San Francisco's success and are looking to the city for guidance on better waste management. Tamika Jones, CNN, San Francisco.